So recently, Dwayne The Rock Johnson was asked this question, who would win in a fight, Black Adam or Black Bolt? Hmm. Let's list down their powers. Black Adam gets his powers from six Egyptian gods when he says the magic word, Shazam. We have Shu, Horus, Amun, Zehuti, Aten, and Mehen, whose initials spell out the word Shazam. So Shu gives Black Adam unrivaled, unparalleled stamina, which basically allows Black Adam to survive without sustenance on air, food, anything, and renders him immortal. He can go into space and hang out there and chill. Heru, or Horus, is one of the oldest and arguably most important Egyptian god. He's like one of the first. Now what Horu gives Black Adam is speed, swiftness. In orbit, Black Adam can travel at sub-light speeds, and in space, he can travel at trans-light speed. On land, he's been recorded to go up to Mach 500. We have Amun, or Amun-Ra, who gives Black Adam his strength. And this allows Black Adam to rival even Superman, Shazam, Green Lantern. They're no match to Black Adam's strength. Zehuti gives Black Adam knowledge, wisdom. Basically, this allows Black Adam to speak and understand different languages. He's like walking encyclopedia, walking dictionary, walking thesaurus. He's everything. He's a walking calculator. You ask him a question, he can answer it. Aten is basically the son of this god, sun rays. What Aten gives Black Adam is access to the Rock of Eternity and that lightning bolt when he says Shazam. This basically allows Black Adam to travel through dimensions and time travel and, I don't know, basically gives him strength as well in some iterations, basically enhances all of his other powers because of that. And last but not least, Mehen, which is an Egyptian snake god, that coils around Ra during the night to protect the god because during the night the god was vulnerable for some reason so Mehen gives Black Adam courage even faced with difficult tasks in front of him and he can't, even all of his powers combined he cannot overpass these challenges for some reason he pushes on and perseveres this also renders him um, immune to some degree of fear some degree of pain, despair, and it also helps him fight against mind control, telepathy, telekinesis, and all these other stuff. And, and in some version, man's courage basically gives Black Adam some invulnerability to physical pain as well. Now Black Bolt. Black Gar Boltagon. He is the king of the Inhumans. Basically, Inhumans are super-powered humans that were kidnapped and experimented upon to enhance their powers. So they're like roided up superhumans. Black Bolt is the strongest one. He's, he's the king. I mean, if he's the king and other inhumans challenge him, he can beat him down. Black Bolt is one big badass. His most iconic ability is his ability to harness and manipulate ambient electrons. His source of power is somewhat located in the speech center of his brain. I don't know if I'm pointing the right, right spot, but it's in his brain where speech is involved. So basically, his ability to control the electrons are, are somewhat channeled through his vocal cords. Basically, it's, it's a little bit complicated, but it's basically sound. He, he leveled a city just by whispering. That's how strong his powers are. But sometimes he can't control it. He's, he, at one time, he almost destroyed the planet when his powers were, went out of control, went haywire. And he was trying to rein it in and control it, and he ended up destroying half the planet. I mean, people say that if he didn't control his powers, he could destroy that planet, you know? Now, to help him control his powers, Black Bolt has this special tuning fork, or like device, which, looks, which basically looks like a tuning fork, which he used in like tuning a piano, I think. So he has this tuning fork on his forehead where he, use, where he channels his um, electron manipulating abilities through. And he uses this basically create an anti-gravitational field on him so he can fly. He creates a somewhat standard um, force field around himself so he can protect himself from basic attacks. He even uses his powers and like thanks to his tuning fork, he can even have somewhat a, of a level, like a decent level of telepathy so he can use to communicate with other people that he wants to communicate with across the universe. I mean, he can talk to his wife on a different planet, he 
doesn't even need a cell service because he's got his own cell service. He's, he's basically really powerful. I mean, out of thin air, he creates something that you can walk on using manipulating the electrons in the air. Technically, Black Bolt's power is sound. Seeing as they're both somewhat overpowered, Black Adam's got like power of six gods, and Black Bolt basically can level cities and destroy a planet with his voice. It's gonna be a close fight. We have different scenarios, but light versus sound. And one big aspect of it is speed. The person who strikes first wins the battle. If that strike ends the fight, that guy wins. Light is faster than sound. It's a simple matter of who can hit first. Black Adam would tear off Black Bolt's head. Do you disagree with my opinion? Do you have other thoughts? Do you have anything to add? Comment below and let me know. And if you want to see more, subscribe. This is my first video, so give me a slack. See ya.